Hi, I'm Glenn with Independence Training. And I'm John with Independence Training. And we're out here today on a beautiful Arizona day with the crew from AR500 Armor to continue our series of uh, use of armor videos. In the previous series, we had covered kind of the administrative concepts of utilizing body armor, how to fit it, how to set it up, how to use slings, and also how to access your first line gear. And today we're going to be out here at the range showing you guys some basic shooting exercises to help ensure that you're all of your stuff set up the way you want it and that everything fits and rides the way you want it to ride. The very first exercise we're going to start with is a modified version of our marksmanship qualification from our defensive carbine class. Now we're going to be shooting on steel targets today from Precision 3D targets uh, out of Flagstaff, Arizona and uh, they give us good instant feedback when we are shooting and basically what we're going to be doing is moving from 100 meters to 5 meters getting into and out of various shooting positions and firing different round counts so that we can make sure all of our equipment fits us well and still provides good access to reloads and things like that. Alright so we're going to start right here 100 meters away from the targets uh, we're going to start from the prone position and we're going to fire two rounds then we're going to move up to 75 meters and we're going to be firing four rounds from any position that the shooter wants. We're going to move up to 50, do another four rounds, again any position. Up to 25, again four rounds, again any position. And then when we get about five meters away, we're going to transition from a rifle to a handgun and we're going to do two rounds of two to the chest and one to the head from five meters on our steel target. One of the best tests of equipment that you could possibly do is to bring it out, uh, A, and just train with it, but B, bring it out here in less than optimal conditions. I mean, rain, sun, snow, mud, mud. We, uh, you know, we love to train in, in any environment that we possibly can. And so the exercise that we just did, it started raining beforehand, and you know, it didn't dampen our spirits. Jump at the opportunity. So the, uh, the exercise we just ran through is kind of a modification of a drill that we utilize a lot in our own instructor training called 321123, um, or you can back that up and go uh, pretty much in any variation that you want. But the, the idea is to kind of shoot a certain number of rounds from certain different positions. And this is just one variation that we've used. We started behind cover and just shot you know three basic shots. And then we ran to the next piece of cover and we got into a low position. And low positions are always good to test and make sure that your gear is not going to hinder you from getting low. So after that second table, Glenn and I ran down and did shooting on the move. The reason for that is if your armor is moving all over the place or it's a little too big or a little too small, it's going to impede your ability to get a good shoulder weld. It might be bouncing all around, throwing you off your stance, and you want to find these things out. After that, we, did, we ran down pretty close, fired a few more rounds with our rifles, and transitioned to our handguns. A huge thing with that is, is if, if 
your armor impedes your ability to draw your handgun, that's a huge problem that you need to fix before you find out the hard way. And another piece of equipment we threw in here, kind of while we were out testing is, obviously it's raining, you know, it has been raining kind of on and off pretty hard, and so we wanted to throw some raincoats on, and can we use this equipment with a raincoat thrown over it? You know, is the raincoat too small, so it's too tight, now we can't access it, we can't move. You know, we were down there performing reloads, we had to kind of brush our, uh, brush our coats aside so we get access to our equipment, and same thing, we went to go draw our handgun, you have to move that equipment out of the way. And these are all great ways to find out what the limitations of your equipment are. Really important thing to consider about putting medical kits. You know, I mentioned, hey, all I like to carry around is ammunition, but it is really important to carry a med kit of some kind as well, at least somewhere on your body, where that's on your plate carrier, or a belt, or a pocket, or something like that.